I guess when you're gonna do science in the city, you gotta have a wagon with all your random stuff in it. It'll look a little weird walking down the street, but it's for science, so why not? Hey, so check it out. I am at Roosevelt Park in downtown Sacramento. I'm at the Sacramento Kings Court. So I got a basketball right here. The reason is, I'm gonna look at some sunspots. But before we look at sunspots, I've got this basketball to teach us a little bit. You see the sun behind me there. The sun has an average diameter of about 864,938 miles. Which means if we shrank down the sun to be the size of this basketball, the earth would literally be the size of a two millimeter bead. Basically the size of a BB. That's how tiny the earth is compared to the sun. Now you see the sun behind me, it doesn't look super big, but that's because of how far away it is. It's over 93 million miles away on average. Now, if we use a proper solar filter, which I've got down right here, this allows us to look at the sun without damaging our eyes. So check this out. You got the sun right up there, and if we add this filter, you can see the sun just comes out to be this tiny dot. Doesn't even want to focus very well. That is the size of the sun when viewed from Earth. Comparatively, if that becomes the Earth, and the size that we just looked at with our filter, we've got to walk a long, long ways away from that basketball to get it to appear to be the size of the sun when we look up in the sky. So now that we know a little bit more about the sun, let's take a look in our Mead Eclipse View telescope. And let's see how many sunspots we can see. Keep in mind, when we shrink the sun down, the Earth is the size of a two millimeter bead. So when we look at these sunspots, you gotta realize to scale, almost all of them are larger than our entire planet. Let's check it out. You can see the eclipse view set up here. Now the easiest way for me to show you the sunspots is to hook up my Canon Rebel EOS T6i. I've got an adapter here so that I can hook this up to the telescope and then I will use this. We're going to point it right up at the sun and I'll use this to get some photographs. So I got the camera set up and you can see the sun here. I've taken a couple uh, photographs and there's quite a few sunspots. So check this out. The sun makes it real hard to see. Check that out. You can even see the sunspots on that. But I got better photographs. 